economies contributes less than 5% of the global greenhouse gas emissions. These emissions are the cause of a steady and dangerous rise in global temperatures, which have resulted in the extinction of plants and animal species, rise in sea levels, disruptions in climate patterns, drought, and desertification. The brunt of these adverse effects and impacts has been borne by vulnerable African populations residing in less developed parts of the world. Droughts are more frequent and more severe. Our region has undergone a five season long drought which has decimated domestic and wild animal populations, wiped out food crops, disrupting and threatening the lives of millions of people. Water stress caused by climate change has been devastating both directly and as a driver of conflict over water and pastures. Poverty has been exacerbated by loss of livestock, which forms the mainstay of pastoralist economy, economic livelihoods, and massive crop failure, which weakened the foundations of farming economies. In addition to drought, African populations are experiencing floods, heat waves, and outbreak of climate change related diseases. African livelihood, security, and development is in danger and will remain at stake unless we collectively wage aggressive combat to reverse the situation through policies and other institutional action to implement mitigation, enhance adaptation, and build resilience. The looming climate disaster is particularly tragic for Africa, which is entering a new promising era of peace and prosperity as the continent of the future. Many vital indicators have found that indeed Africa is rising, powered by its youthful population, energy, resources, and hope. It is important for Africa to undertake concerted action to win the war on climate change because it is disproportionately affected by its Institute structural change. The institutional configurations and economic resets emanating from this structural change will install Africa not only as a continent of the future, but as the world's green economic superpower. Africa is abundantly endowed with all the resources required to power green industrialization. Our clean and green power potential is incomparable. Just to give you indications, 92% of our grid in Kenya is clean and green. It is the case in many other African countries and the potential to make it the case in many African nations is real and is possible. Our clean and green power potential, as I said, is immense. Hydro, geothermal, wind, and solar power potential is super abundant. The mineral resources needed for green energy technology also exists plentifully in our continent. We are the world's youngest continent with a mean age of 25 and growing younger every year. Our people constitute a three billion strong market and a pool of skilled, motivated and capable workforce. Future global sustainability will depend on a robust engagement with Africa in many fundamental ways. The world knows this and African institutions and stakeholders must be ready for this engagement. And that is why this symposium 
is very important. I am very proud of the firm commitment demonstrated 